pictures. Now this is unique. Yep, you can grab that. Have the little hat there. This hat looks pretty good. Grab that. A little crystal in there. Vacuum. Oh well. Bunch of hats. have to come back to this one <laughs> that's that's great Ponder. what happens if I don't come back around here And these two. This will be great. I know the delivery, but I had to look. This is a Samsung, and I didn't get to really see what it is. <laughs> a DVD VHS player, a Sony one. Also, oh, it's not even the right uh, remote, but it's good anyway. That is amazing. Amazing, amazing. Well, again, I spotted something and I have to look and look at this. Boy, that's big. My book for the book.
people buy the boxes. I know that. And this is a pretty damn big box. So, investigate this. On my way to a pickup for delivery, it's after midnight, just after midnight, and I saw some stuff, and I wanted to check it out just in case, so I don't want to miss it. Uh, or, I may not be coming through here again, so I might as well take a look. I don't think it's anything, and... I was right, not anything. Nice shelf, but... That's what called my attention, was that purple. Oh, well. And this little crap. So definitely people are moving out. And not too far away from here, there's actually um, bins for Goodwill. kind of formula all kinds of little plants kind of like the cactus is this aloe that's aloe vera I'm gonna try to save this one. Hopefully it's savable. I like that cactus too. But the aloe vera I'm trying to save. Let's see. Yes, a printer. A whole bunch. Some books. And they're perfect size for my giveaway coming up. Yes, yes, yes. And little bean bags. I think this is a I'm almost positive this is not an inkjet.
I'm gonna have to put the phone down to figure out how to open this up. So I've been tinkering with this uh, Sony DVD VHS player, and unfortunately, it's just not not playing. I got my little testing station here. Um, it did come with a little extra surprise because this was a surprise to me in the box. And the little extra surprise was a DVD of one of my favorite movies. The Good, the Bad, the Ugly. I always consider myself the latter. But anyway, um, so I got a free DVD. Usually when you find DVD players out in the wild, you will actually find... Uh, DVDs in them for whatever reason people don't take out the DVDs um, but yeah I've been I got it plugged in I've been testing it I tried matching it up with one of my remotes that I already have from my remote box none of them match and I keep pressing play and it starts play but the number doesn't doesn't move so it could, I could probably open it up and see if it's dirty somehow, but that shouldn't affect the DVD player. Uh, the DVD player should still play separately. But anyway, I just thought I'd share that. And this was under some, some of the, the hats and stuff. The screen does kind of... something but not enough and I've tried playing with the I found this TV about, about a year and a half ago also um, off of Craigslist of some office that was moving and it's a nice little color TV and now I use it as my testing station but yeah I can't get this it just keeps saying line 2 and it just stays stuck at That one. So I might open it up and see if I can just clean it out, maybe, and see what happens. Sometimes that'll do it, but uh, not at this time. I'll I'll show some hats in a second. So here's the box of where the the DVD VHS player combo came out of, and I went ahead and grabbed some stuff. This is 100% wool, made a uh, made in USA. Um, just a little cleaning and I think it'll look really nice. This one was really interesting to me. It's a custom made Liberty Truth Justice. It's a club. Um, the Eagles Club. And I just thought it was really neat. So, hopefully it does pretty well. This is, I had to open it up. And it's a, a closet organizer where you you know you'll see you can put shoes or makeup. My daughter has one of these. I wonder. I'm pretty sure she'll probably want this one as well. And then just a bunch of nice little um, caps, a little used, but this one. I want to get this repaired somehow. I want to see if I can get this repaired. But it's their trucker hat. There's some trucker hats in here. Uh, California Rodeo, 75th Anniversary, Salinas, anything for Salinas, um, Reno, Fort Bragg, That's, you can't really tell too much where, I got my upcoming uh, yard sale, so I'll try selling them there first, and if not, then I'll try to get them um, cleaned, and a trucker hat, you know, Bill's Place. Some of these actually don't look like they were used, so. Harold's Club Reno. This one looks like it, it was pretty used, but still trucker hats. Some can do pretty well. The graphics really nice on this one. I don't think this one was was used very much but still pretty cool 
This one looks like it's been worn, but again, it's as best I know. Eric Agorastos. Robert Agorastos. Uh, that one, probably not much. Genuine Antique Gambler. That's pretty nice. Oh, been, been there, done that, got lucky. And then this nice, nice hat also, an XL. Let's see if we can see in here. Oh, it's made in Taiwan. So, anyway, I live in an area that people will want this. Oh, here's Harry's Pismo Beach. Kind of dirty. And uh, new uh, slippers, like from airline, I guess. Three, three. And then there's a remote, so this will go with my box of remotes. A couple of barbecuing tools. And these are look look for a fan. And I might so I might try to just sell that. This looks TV accessories. Mm, looks new. Doesn't look open. Just old. This is you know. Just, and then this uh, old phone audio box with both the wall plug-in and the regular car charger. So yeah, and then a, a little remote that I always. I just always grab remotes, basically. So, the remote go go in my box of remotes. And at some point, I probably will sell some of the remotes. But for the most part, I try to save them just in case. So, that's uh, that I found sort of daytime, actually. More than nighttime. I grabbed the I, iMac um, box because it was 27, well, more like 29 inches. With the rates coming up, changing on... On USPS, I just figured, you know, I'm not going to deal with that. It's too bulky. But they do sell, on average, around around 50 bucks. But I did grab these, which are iMac Pro Books um, boxes. And then this was out in the downtown area, um, just on top of some uh, uh, newspaper stands. And no, I don't know. It, I don't know anything about these, but I'm pretty sure got to be some money um and it's a little kids one which is pretty bizarre and it's like again it was just there and uh i'll do my research and see for the last finds of the night uh i found some children book these are worth one or two dollars on amazon as far as profit this one actually is eight dollars in profit so i'm going to send that one um send that one in but these aren't worth worth anything, so these will just go to the to the book sale, or pri price uh, as prizes. Actually, is what I'm I'm thinking of. I'll put them as prizes for the kids. There was this bag that I used to fill the books in, um, string bag, pretty good size, and then there's these uh, jogging pants. I guess you call them one by Nike. Uh, it looks pretty decent it's a large uh, doesn't look like it's been used really so we'll see about that and then adidas pants that more like biker uh, these do seem like they've been used a little bit more but again large you know got them for free so anyway those were the finds for for the day and night.